सी इनकम स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन इनकम स्टेटमेंट फॉर द ईयर एंडेड ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन ओके एंड एच पर दिस इनकम स्टेटमेंट सी फर्स्ट सेल इज गिवन देन वी सब्ट्रैक्टेड कॉस्ट ऑफ गुड सोल्ड देन वी हैव ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट एंड टू दैट ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट वी एडेड यू नो अदर इनकम्स ओके and we got the total income and total income is dollar forty thousand and from that total income we subtracted expenses and in expenses there are wages salaries bad debts advertisement depreciation then we got net profit before tax and then we subtracted tax provided how much tax provided seven thousand and after that we got net profit after tax and that is seven thousand okay so this is our income statement apart from this income statement we have one extract of balance sheet uh, that shows only only the detail of uh, uh, current assets and current liability so see which current assets and current liabilities we have see cash is there bank is there account receivables are there stock is there account payables are there outstanding wages prepaid salaries and tax provision and now we are to prepare you know uh, we are to compute uh, we are to prepare cash flow from operating activity okay only operating activity we are to prepare cash flow state cash flow statement has three parts operating investing and financing so with the help of this question only we are to prepare the first part and that is cash flow from operating activity and uh, now i am going to prepare that cash flow from operating activity so see this cash flow from operating activity i am going to prepare that part so first i will write the heading cash flow from operating activity operating activity and which method we are following direct method there are two methods so direct method we are following direct method okay so see in direct method what we will do so first we will write what cash collected cash collected from customers cash collected from customers and for this uh, we had uh, we have one formula isn't it so cash collected from uh, from customers we are to take first so for that the formula is what total sale total sale see yeah total sale is see from the income statement we will get so our total sale is 60000 dollar 60000 okay so first first we will take total sale 60000 now i will add what opening account receivables account receivable so see opening account receivable see in the extract opening account receivables are you know uh, dollar 6000 and closing is dollar 3000 so opening account receivables the amount of opening account receivables is dollar 6000 so that we will add and and closing account receivables we will subtract okay so in this manner we got you know cash collected from customers so 60 plus 6 66 66, 66 minus 3 so 63000 dollar 63000 yeah this is uh, instead of sale we we can't take sale because sale consist of what credit sale so that's why in place of sale we are taking what cash collected from customers and to compute this cash collected from customers we have to follow one formula total sale plus opening account receivables minus closing account receivables okay yeah now second operating activity is which one cash paid to suppliers cash pa paid to suppliers instead of you know taking <coughs> purchase we are to take what cash paid to suppliers and the formula is what total purchase so first we need to compute total purchase isn't it 
so see we know and for that we have to use the formula of cost of goods sold the formula of cost of goods sold is what opening stock plus purchase minus closing stock this is the formula okay so this this formula we use in order to compute purchase so see cost of goods sold given in the question so what is the cost of goods sold see in the income statement 30000 isn't it so i will write 30000 cost of goods sold we already uh, know that cost of goods sold is 30000 now opening stock we have to take so see in the question opening stock see what is the information regarding stock stock is there opening stock is opening stock is 15000 and closing is 12000 so 15000 i will take here and 12000 we have to subtract and we don't know purchase so i will write purchase as it is here okay yeah now see what i will do i will transfer all the you know right hand side's figure to the left hand side in order to compute the purchase so 30000 is already there on the left hand side isn't it and when i will transfer this 15000 on the left hand side so it will turn into negative item minus 15000 and when i will transfer this negative 12000 on the left hand side its sign its sign will change 12000 isn't it so what is the final figure of purchase so 30 minus yeah 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 27000 excellent this is the final figure 27000 so in this manner we got the purchase and this purchase figure i will use here total purchase 27000 we got isn't it yeah now i will add opening account payables as per the formula so see opening account payables account payables see account payables are given opening 4000 closing 1000 isn't it opening 4000 and closing is 1000 so i will add opening account payable that is 4000 and i will subtract closing account payable that is 1000 so 27 plus 4 31 31 minus 1 30000 so this is the this is what cash paid to suppliers and as a, there is cash outflow because we paid the money so there is cash outflow so that's why the answer we will say in the bracket negative item okay this because of this because of the first uh, operating activity cash inflow 63000 we got and because of the second ac activity there is cash outflow that's why we will show the result in the negative in the bracket okay Yeah. Now third is what operating expenses paid. Operating expenses. Just a minute. Operating expenses paid. That I will take. And what is the formula for that? Total operating expense. Okay. So see total operating expense as per the income statement. So see in the income statement. So see, from the expenses we are to find out operating expenses. Wages is operating, salary is operating. Bad debts we will not take because bad debts is non-cash item. Okay. Advertisement is operating. Depreciation also we will not take because it is non-cash item. So we will not we will not take bad debts. We will not take depreciation because they are non-cash item. And we are preparing cash flow statement. so in cash flow statement there is no place for non cash item okay so i will take only wages wages 5000 then salary 12000 and one more item we will take advertisement and that is 6000 the amount of advertisement is 6000 we won't take you know bad debts and depreciation because they are non cash item and in cash flow statement we never consider non cash item okay so these are the operating expenses as per income statement so total is how much total is 33000 isn't it 6 to 8 uh, sorry 23000 i think 23 6 to 8 8 5 13 carry on yeah 23000 total operating expenses is 23000 <coughs> so see i will take 23000 
now we have to add opening outstanding if any operating expense is outstanding then opening i outstanding we have to add so see in the question so there is outstanding wages isn't it opening is 2000 and closing is 3000 so opening we will add opening we will add and closing we will subtract okay now is there is any prepaid yes see prepaid salary is there so opening is 1500 closing is 2000 so opening we will subtract and closing we will add so opening 1500 we will subtract and closing how much what is the amount of closing a prepaid salary just a minute closing prepaid salary is 2000 so that we will add okay now see the result 23 plus 2 25 25 plus 2 tell wait, twen wait a minute 23 plus 2 25 25 plus 2 27 and 27 minus 3000 24000 and 24 minus 1500 so I think it will come you know 22500 and paid Ah, yeah, and we paid the money so that's why this uh, figure will be shown in the bracket okay let me check again 23 plus 2 25 25 minus 3 22 22 minus 1500 20,500 plus 2000 22,500 yes correct understood now what is the result positive figure is only 63 and these two are negative so what is the total of these two negative figures 52500 isn't it 30 plus 22500 so 52500 and positive figure 63000 so what is the final result just a minute 0 0 10 minus 5 5 2 minus 2 0 and 1 so 10500 10,500 is the final figure okay yes and one more thing we have to subtract no one more thing we have to subtract and that is what tax paid tax paid tax paid is also you know item of outflow due to tax payment there is cash outflow so tax payment we have to consider under which activity operating activity okay so let's see how much tax paid during the year so see the question just a moment paid so see what is that yeah what is the tax provided during the year 7000 isn't it what is the opening tax provision opening tax provision opening tax provision is 2000 okay and during the year we provided tax how much 7000 this is opening tax yeah 7000 we provided isn't it during the year so tax paid tax provided should be 9000 at the end of the year but at the end of the year tax paid is only 4000 see only 4000 is given instead of 9000 only 4000 is there it means we paid during the year tax how much 5000 okay let me explain it again opening tax provided is 2000 during the year I again provided for tax 7000 so total tax provision at the end of the year should be 9000 but as per the question but as per the question only tax provided at the end of the year is only 4000 so out of 9000 now 4000 remained as tax provision at the end of the year so where the 5000 gone it means 5000 we paid during the year okay so tax paid during the year is 5000 so that that 5000 we have to subtract now after the subtracting tax payment so now we will get answer how much 5500 positive answer so this is what this is net cash from wait a minute net cash from operating activity understood 
so in the in this manner we got our answer this is our answer we just this is our answer 5500